this can happen. First, take a look at my first scenario over here. We're going to dilate with center O, scale factor of two. Don't tell me it's going to get bigger and just try to extend it and stretch it. No, no. Let's see what happens up here. A dilation of two around center O. Take point A right now. What's going to happen to point A? Don't tell me bigger. I've just done nothing the last two classes. You tell me it's going to get bigger. What's going to happen to point A? Scale factor of two. Where's it going to go? Further from O. Ballpark right now on your paper right now, in your notes, ballpark where you think A prime is going to be and plot it. Doesn't have to be exact. Right now, O and A have a certain distance. Scale factor of two, you're about to double that distance away from O. So double that distance away. All right, I think A prime right about here. At least we're in the vicinity. All right, do the same thing for B. Where's B prime going to be? Double that distance away from O and B to get B prime. And go ahead and sketch line A prime, B prime, the dilated line. No, the line does not get bigger. But compare the two lines now. What can you say about A prime, B prime, and the original line, AB? They look to be parallel. There we go. So when you dilate a line, when you dilate a line here, line A prime, B prime remains parallel to line AB. So when you dilate lines, lines remain pair, which means they're going to have the same what coming up sooner or later. Not, it doesn't matter here, but they're going to have the same slopes. And let's make a note here. It doesn't matter because I'm not on a graph, but they will remain parallel with a different y-intercept. It doesn't, I can't show you this on this diagram, but when we go to a graph, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's get that in our mind. Lines remain parallel when I dilate. Lines remain parallel when I dilate. Unless, unless we have scenario number two. Right? The line will not remain parallel if I have scenario number two, which is now my center. Where'd the center go? On the line. All right, so let's take a look. What happens when the center moves on the line? All right, well. Still a scale factor of two, so the points are getting further away from O. All right, everyone see point A? It's got a certain distance away from O. Let's double that distance. Where's A going to be? Where's it going to land? Right on the line again, isn't it? Probably, let's see, right up here maybe? It's going to land on the line again, isn't it? And then same thing for B. Where's B going to land? Where's B prime going to land? Probably make this a little longer, but B prime's going to land on the line still. So will they always remain parallel? No. If the center is on the line, if the center of dilation is on the line, what can we say? Same line. Image and the pre-image are the same. So A prime, B prime is the same line as line AB. So look at the two different scenarios right now. You dilate around a center that's not on the line. I end up with a line that's parallel. But if the center is on my line I'm trying to dilate, nothing happens. Nothing. It remains the same line every time. So we're going to encounter both scenarios here today, when the center is not on the line and when the center is on the line. All right, ready to roll? Doyle, you ready back there? How's the claw doing, all right? Fine. What, what, did, uh, what did the doc say? Uh, I can't really tell still. All right, so what now? They just put me in a cast for two weeks. Hard cast or soft? Hard. Ooh, that stinks, huh? <laughs> Got to put a garbage bag around that bad boy when it's shower time? Yeah, don't want to get it wet. Yep, I remember those days. Kindergarten broke my, fractured my ankle, jumping off a picnic table, thinking I was Superman. 
there you go. It's a little a quick story about my life. Yep. Old big cast coming up in kindergarten. That was awful. All right, next up. Ready to roll? All right, I have this equation. 3x plus 4y equals 20. We're going to dilate it. Here are the conditions. Scale factor one-third, and we're going to center it at 0.42. Uh, I'd love to see what this line looks like first. That's why I provided graph paper for you. Can we put this uh, on graph paper for me? And I'm going to take a moment because we have plenty of time today. Uh, I know as an honors level teacher and you as an honors level student, we both should say solve for Y and go graph it, right? Get it in Y equals form. Do you know your calculator does that for you? Put, we'll put it into y equals form for you. I just want to show you this in case you're ever nervous of putting it into y equals form. First of all, you could just graph it, pull up the table, and plot the points if you wanted to, right, on Grapher. I don't know how much you've used Grapher last year. How much did you use Grapher last year? A lot? Not a lot? Okay, good talk as usual. Why would you answer any of my questions? 3x plus 4y equals 20, so 3x... And what's nice about this calculator is, as you guys know, you don't have to put it in y equals form. You can just type it in as is equals 20. So you could go to table and graph the points on the table. Or I don't know if anybody knows this. You hit enter and everyone see three dots over to the right. See those three dots? You go over to the three dots, enter, and the first option is details. And when you go to details, look what it gives you. It gives you the slope and the y-intercept already done for you. Okay, so just showing you in case it might come up, you know, you get nervous about solving for y. It's all right here under details where the three dots are. All right, this thing does everything for you. Wait till next year. It's just going to be unfair next year that you guys get to use these. All right, so it's uh, y equals the only... The only bad part, downfall of using the details, is it'll never give this to you as a fraction. It'll always be in a decimal. So if you know how to put it into a fraction, great. If not, that's a problem, I guess. So negative 3 fourths x was the y-intercept 5 plus 5. All right, let's throw this line on the graph and dilate it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 1. All right, we have a graph. Ready to dilate it. One third with the center at four two. Whoa! Notice where that center is. Where's the center of dilation land? Right there on the line. Okay, discussion's over. This line's not changing. Hey, I can give you a dilation of one third or three hundred. It's not going to matter. If the center of dilation's on the line, it remains the same line. So line P, the new line they're asking for, I don't care which version you give, the original or the Y equals form, it's going to stay the same. And a little explain your answer. All right. Center of dilation is on the line. On the original line, I should probably put that. Questions? All right, well, what if it's not on the line? All right, how do I produce this new equation if it's not on the line? Good question. All right, here's your new line we're going to dilate. 
Scale factor of three fourths and center it as the origin. All right, real quick, let's graph it because you do, you do, don't just assume because it's the origin, it's not going to be the same line. You want to make sure that the origin is not on this line. So let's graph it and confirm that. So negative four, one, two, three, four. Slope of three halves up three over four. I don't know why over four at all. No idea. Probably never mind. I'm not even going to make an excuse. Just own up to it. I made a mistake. Even the great ones make mistakes. Okay, confirm is the origin on this line. Okay, so we know my answer is not going to be the same line. So it's not going to be 3 abs x minus 4, right? Because the origin, the center, where we're dilating around is not on this line. All right, so how do I construct the new line? Well, what do we already know? The new line is going to be what to the original? Par all right, it's going to be parallel when we dilate. So at least we know what the slope's going to be. What's the slope of the pre-image? Actually, you know what? Well, we'll go here. Because there's no one. There's no three halves. It's going to come up here. What's the slope of my original line here? Ones, Will? Three halves. So what's the slope of my dilated line going to be? Charlie? They're going to remain what? Parallel. So which means the slopes. If two lines are parallel. Slopes. Also three halves. Yep. So three halves x. Now I know by multiple choice, we know what the answer is, but how do I get this new Y intercept? Change the old one, change the old Y intercept. The old Y intercept right here, right? Was zero, negative four. Scale factor of three fourths. And here's the best part. Where's our center of dilation again? origin so I can use my shortcut to find the new point. I could take 3 fourths, multiply, multiply it by the x and the y coordinate. So 3 fourths times 0, 3 fourths times negative 4. There's your new y-intercept. So use our shortcut to find your new y-intercept. Take the old one and multiply it by its scale factor. Questions, comments? Any concerns? So now you've seen both scenarios, when the center is on the line, and then when the center is not on the line. Anything? Matt, fresh cut? Yeah. Homegrown or professional? Uh, professional. Professional, good. Is this your second one this year already? Uh, that, that I've asked you about? I so, yeah. What do you ask for? Uh, do, you for do you get the full say in it? I don't know about full say, but most of it. Okay. What do you ask for? Did you you got it? There, there's a lot cut off there. There's a lot of lettuce cut off there. Way too much. Way too much? You don't approve. It what? Like three days. Ultimately. What's wrong with it now? Too short? Too short. All right. Aiden? Homegrown? No. Professional. There, there's been years where I've had a couple homegrowns. Professional? Yeah. How much say do you get in it? Half. Half? Okay. I said what I wanted and my mom said get it short. So. Is that short enough for you or should it be shorter? A little too short. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm better with long hair. Why do you say that? What's, be what's better with long hair mean? Like better like student or her person? <laughs> I just like it with longer hair. Okay. All right. So you're not, a, you didn't approve of this cut. Not really. Too huh. Uh, does your brother get it at the same time now? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Same exact cuts or different cuts? Kind of the same. Okay. He, does he like it short? Yeah. Oh, a little difference there, huh? Okay. So he would approve if I went down and asked him? Probably. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. Did you guys run into each other or no? Yeah. You and Matt? Oh no! Well, obviously, I know you and your brother. Yeah. You and your brother. Yeah, you went. Who went first? Ethan. Okay. 
Now, do you after he's done? Do you're like mm, a yeah. little longer? Yeah, that's what I said. So that's it's good. Good call going second because you can critique and. Mm -hmm. All right, good. How often do we get it there, John? Every couple month. Depends on the length. Like when my mom says it's getting too long, that's when I get it. But you think it's short right now, so you're probably going to go in a little extra time. Hopefully. Because normally it is. Well, you there, Matt. You seem like you're a six week guy. I feel like it's been about six weeks since we had this discussion before. Okay. Seven. Seven. Oh, good. Crazy. All right. Seven. All right. Good. All right. Good. Good talk, gentlemen. Congratulations on your fresh cuts. All right. Moving on. Uh, next one now. What do you ask for when you get a cut? So what do I ask for? Nothing on the, the Carlino special you're asking? What do, what's yeah. the Carlino special? You yeah. go in and just say, give me the Carlino. It's zero all the way around, and they trim on top. You, sometimes it depends. Maybe I'll go a four on top, blade of a four. That's But I like to style it every once in a while, so usually I'll go a trim on top. Usually it's been every four weeks, but I've changed it up to every three. Okay. Usually when I go four, usually when I go four weeks and I get a trim on top, it's not enough off the top. It's too long. And by the time another four weeks, it's even longer. So I've been going every three weeks just to make sure that trim is actually a trim and it's a good style on top. But yeah, if you ever want to, fellas, you want to go in the barber shop, just ask for the Carlino. It's a zero all the way around and a trim on top. Where? Good, good trim. Where? Good trim. What's that? Where? Doesn't. No way. Everyone knows. Right? I know. I know. Everyone knows that. Especially, but like, where do you go? Don't worry about it. I don't want to reveal my secrets. How about that? Yo, what happens if I walk in and ask the Carlino special? I don't care. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Well, then you tell him. I don't even think. I don't even think the guy that does my hair knows my name. He just calls me Teach every time I walk in. It's like Teach. How you doing? I'm like good. How we doing today? Good. I don't think he knows my name. But so just ask for Teaches, the Teach special, I guess. The guy that teaches at the high school. Do you like used to have long hair? Like, do you ever grow it up? Uh, when I was in high school, it wasn't until college I started cutting it real short. High school, like I could. You had a mullet. No mullet. No, it was like parted off. Put no jelly. There was like old school. Go to the side, start combing it over that way. Like, like yeah. How long was it? Like Aiden's length? Or... Uh, maybe a little bit shorter than Aiden's length. A little bit, but I could still comb it over the side and stuff. Yeah. That was like the longest it ever got. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I started cutting it short and I was like, I can't go back to having it long. Nothing against long hair. It just gets hot for me. Like, especially around, I could deal with it on top, I think, but once it got long on the sides and in the back, things just get too hot. And that's it. Did you ever get a buzz? Yeah. Yeah. Has a buzz. You have a yeah. Line. All off? <laughs> yeah. Once during COVID when the barber shops weren't open. So I borrowed one of my friend's clippers and just had my daughters just shave my head completely out in the driveway. And then two falls ago, I was like, you know what? Let's do this. And did it again. Complete shave. Not bald, bald, but definitely buzzed right down to the skin. Yeah. What if I just came in one day? It's like, I don't care about my hair. Who am I trying to impress some 14 to 18 year olds? Please That'd be weird. give me a break. Why? Just a completely shaved no, off? if you were trying to impress. No, yeah, that would be a lot of yeah, That would be, you're right. All right. Maybe end of the year. See how I'm feeling. I'll just roll into the Regents exam. Just done. All right. You should have to go on the Regents. But, we're, but then you guys aren't here, though. Like you achieve that goal and you're like, well, did he do it? Did he not do it? Because you're never going to see us again. And I'm not definitely not going to talk to any of you if I see him in the hallway next year. So he's just like shave head anyway. Just because? Just. Yeah. And just walk like, around yeah, town and see how many of you to see. You should shave your favorite student's name in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or why do you want that, to That'd be a blank slate, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. Are we ready here? Any more questions? Hair questions? Uh, it's my own fault. So it's my own fault. All right, number three. Now I'm not going to tell you, all right, is it on the line, off the line? You have to determine that yourself. And there's no graph paper here. Of course, yes, you could grab a piece of scrap graph paper and graph y equals negative 3x plus 6 and see where the center point 0, 06 is. Maybe some of you even know just by looking at the equation. If you don't, 
I would suggest typing it in your graphing calculator, looking at the graph and seeing where 0, 06 is. Is it on the line or is it off the line? Can we tell just by the equation though? What's the y intercept? Six. six, which would mean it's 0, 06. So 0, 06 is on the line, which means what about our dilated line? Not going to change. All right, our dilated line is going to stay y equals negative 3x plus 6. And I apologize to whoever's watching this video at home that you had to hear all that five to six minute discussion on haircuts, but that's why there's a fast forward button. Has anyone ever like Here we go. emailed you that they watch your video and then, like they're really interested in your conversation? No. I have had though students I don't have watch it. Like have other teachers who rather watch the videos or for some reason, some other school people in, who go to other schools in other states randomly somehow get a hold of it and, and watch it. So, questions? If you ever, if you ever, if you want to know the highest uh, view count, eighteen thousand on one video. Eighteen thousand. What, what was it? You good? like seventeen thousand times. <laughs> no, it actually wasn't a lesson. Have I gone over like how I've been on TV before? Yeah, I've gone over like I've been. Yeah, you did. Your I'm interview. on PBS. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. PBS. I was on PBS ten years ago doing a Regents review for geometry, and it aired across the whole state. And they put different sections of it on YouTube, and the first section got seventeen, eighteen thousand views. Yeah, and they got bored of you. Here you go. Is your face in it? It's like from a studio and everything. Oh, it, was, it was live at the time, and then they put the recording on there. Yeah, because I've gotten comments that have said, oh, I, I like the way you teach this concept. I don't think you just watch the video, you see me just like a serious discussion and go to class and just like hair or something very bad. Typing this in all. You ain't got it. I don't think you did that right. Yeah, you think so? I think I type, press some wrong buttons, right? Uh, geometry, regents, review. I don't care. Type it quick. Nope, not that guy. There he is. There it is. 18,000 views. Can we watch it? Well, you can watch it on your own time. I'll just give you a quick snip. Look at that, the young buck back in the day. There he is. And then we reviewed some uh, geometry questions, We're getting ready for the regents. Can we still email that email? Uh, I do not get it. I don't know who it will go to. It will not go to me. I can tell you that for sure. But there you go. Look at that. Speaking of that, solving for Y. Yeah. There you go. Are you told us this? No audition. You just so like charming. Face. Yep. Had to put this money maker of a face in there so we get the Did highest. You mess uh, probably, probably, but what's that? I do. Yes. See, look at that. Hey, John, I just wanted to say thanks for putting up these videos and I hope you put up more. You really gave me some awesome tricks to teach my students. So appreciate it. Look at that, huh? Yep. 2020 quarantine. I'm vibing to the geometry review instead of watching my other geometry video. Of my job. <laughs> yep. There you go, kids. Celebrity, celebrity, you have up in front of you every single day teaching you this stuff. Celebrity. That was like live? Or... Live at that time, yes. An hour and a half. Let me tell you, I was sweating profusely how nervous I was. In. People could call in. You know who called in? My students. Giving me a hard time. Yep. Pretending to be, they gave other names too, even though I knew who it was. They gave in other names and the one kid was like, Oh, you know what? You really explained that question well. I'm like my classroom teacher this year who doesn't do a good job at it. 
and like, yep, yeah, keep it up, kids. Yeah, keep it up. Everyone's a comedian. All right, good. You're trying out number four on your own right now. Aaliyah wants to dilate a point or a line, excuse me. She wants to dilate a line by a scale factor of two centered at three, four. She thinks the dilated line will have this equation, correct or not for Aaliyah. So I'm going to let you do your thing. Speaking of videos, this video is going to be like 15 minutes longer than it should be. How many people tried out like a hide? I don't know. Probably just me, right? Probably just like you. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. There's one for algebra, there's one for algebra two, so was it just me, probably. I'm just surprised they had me even audition. I mean, is it like do you know who I am? I should have just walked in and been like, you know who I am? You know who this legend is? You want your kids to understand the geometry. There's only one guy you bring in. Why were they broadcasting about like geometry? Because they do a regent. This was like in May. So the regents were coming up. So they did one on every subject. Like there was a biology one that they aired. Like every day was a certain regents review. Do they do that now? No, I think they, I think it's online though. Like they do like an online one and put it online. Like it's already pre-recorded type deal. You're one and done. One and done, yep. Yeah. One and done. One and done great. It's true. <laughs> Very true, man. One doesn't make you great. Should have did it another year. I don't, I don't, I think they discontinue it. Like they just start putting it online afterwards. They would record it and just put it online. You should like your I think it was too much. Like it was a lot of work in the back, like in the studio I was in to get the phone calls in and answering some of the emails that came in. So, all right, uh, Aaliyah, correct or not? Well, we want to dilate this by two, three, four. Notice where's three, four? It ended up on the line. So my answer, we know our answer should be the same line, right? Four x plus three y equals twenty four. Here's what she's saying, though. It's negative 4 thirds x plus 16. Now, just because they don't match by the looks, don't assume she's incorrect. Because she just left it in y equals 4. So we got to check if I take 4x plus 3y equals 24, which is my line, the same line, is that the same as y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 16? Because if it is, she is correct. But if she, tran you know, she transformed it wrong, she's not. She's incorrect. Is that transformed correctly? A couple different ways, right? We could find. What's the y-intercept here? Six. 16. Our line, it's 8. No go. All right, so this is not the correct equation. And we should have a, if she did it correctly, it should be a plus 8 there. 
those are the same lines, right? Those are the same lines, but me, her putting 16 there is not the same. These two are not the same lines. And graph it too. The other way is to graph both in your graphing calculator, in your numworks calculator. Look at it, you're gonna have two different lines. It won't be one line on top of the other. So is she correct? No. Explain why. The center of dilation. is on the line and again i'm probably being i'm probably putting in way too many words but just to get the point across center of dilation is on the line which results now I'm losing my train of thought here the center of dilation is on the line which results in no change good enough Something that gets the point across, hey, she was wrong because it's a different line. Questions? Because I got a different type of problem to end class with. Are we okay when to dilate a line or how to dilate a line? Either the center is going to be on it or it's going to be off and result in the parallel line. All right, can we take those darn arrows off now? Let's take those arrows off a line and make a line segment. Now, can a line segment get bigger or smaller? Yeah, all right. There are two different ways to approach this, and I'm going to, even if I have to just draw it out of somebody here, I want both methods of how to approach this. I got line segment AB. You guys can see the coordinates. We're going to dilate it by one half, so it is going to get smaller. Line segments can get smaller, bigger. This one's going to get smaller. Centered at the origin. What's the length of the new line? First, can we clap it up, have a big celebration? If you're going to determine the length of A prime, B prime, what's coming up here? Yeah, anybody? Just me again. As usual, nobody's excited on a Monday to use the distance formula. All right, two different approaches. Let me hear both. Somebody come up with a plan. How do I find the uh, length of this new segment? Josh, one way. Uh, find the distance of AB. Okay, so Josh says, number one, find the distance of AB. And then number two, cut it in half. Yes, there's one way to approach it. Another way to approach it, because it, here's a hint. Another way to approach it, because it is centered at the origin. Matt. There you go. So we're going to, I'm not done yet with you. Find A prime, find B prime, then do what, Matt? Distance formula. Distance formula. Yep. It's just a matter of what order we do this in. So your call right now, find the distance of AB, cut it in half, or find the, uh, by the way, Matt, how would I find the coordinates if I did choose to use this method? Multiply all the numbers. Why can I multiply? Darn, Matt, you know what I've been putting down the last three days. That makes me happy. Go ahead. However you want to do it. Must be the new haircut. Gives the brain some time to expand. How was your weekend, Mr. President? <laughs> Just fine, Josh. Just fine. Just fine. Yeah. How about you? How was that cousin reunion? Oh, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. They were kind of annoying. Well, that's what you predicted on Friday, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Are they gone now or still here? Uh, I think they left. The only one of them was annoying. You think they left? Yeah. Aren't they staying with you? I mean, they were, but then they might have left. Is anybody else finding my confusion here? No. Like they, they, they're living with us, but like yes. they might have left by now. How do you not know if they're there or not? Because I, I can't like see them in my house right now. Like, so they were there when you left for school today. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So they were still here today. Yeah, but they, but might they may have, may have left. May have left. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got you. So no matter how we did this, a distance of, I won't even bother calling on the number because it's not going to happen, two, 
and a half. Yes, two and a half. For the the multiple choice what multiple choice question? Who's scared that one of them not going to Oh, you wanted me to? Yeah. We only have, we have sure yeah all right. If you're scared, you're sure yeah no problem. Because you guys know how to push my button, so I'm never going to back down from a challenge. All right, we go back to question number two. What everybody get for an answer? Up oh, six. What do we get? Up. Oh, yep, you're correct. Uh, number three. Let here. Let's see here. Number three. Question three. What do we get for our multiple choice answer? Oh, three. Oh, too bad. Hi, huh, Aiden. Yep, it was a good two. Good job, Aiden. Yep, you're on fire too with your new haircut. Everybody good now? All right, I went back. Okay.